Hello there! You've been asking me since a lot of time to make a video about uh, taming your cockatiel and gaining your cockatiel's trust. So after a lot of time, here we are, and today we are going to talk about that. The way I picture myself, the trust that your cockatiel has for you, is like a ladder. A ladder where every step represents an upgrade in the trust level that the cockatiel has for you. We can imagine a base level, a zero level, and that's a cockatiel that freaks out when you're close, won't allow you to stay near while she's eating, or won't relax if you're near. A lot of cockatiels come like that because when you buy a cockatiel in a store, it's unlikely to be an unraised cockatiel. They're just cockatiels uh, born from the parents and raised by the parents and that live uh, all the life before inside of the cage with the other cockatiels. Then we have the first step of the ladder. And this is a bird you can start to work with. It's a bird that is uh, kind of chilled when you are near, will uh, eat from, from its bowl if you are near. Of course, it will watch you, being very careful that you are not trying to sneak behind and attack while, while it's off eating. But after all, it's kind of relaxed and doesn't mind your presence too much. And that's a case of a cockatiel that was at uh, zero level before, but after some time spent inside of the house with uh, seeing you every day, started to understand that you are no threat. Maybe if you get too close, we'll fly on the opposite side of the cage, but without going panic like the case before. Then we have the step two. Step two, I consider it when uh, the bird finds the courage to eat from a bowl you are holding. I mean, you put some food inside of a bowl, put your hand with the bowl inside of the cage, and the bird will step on the bowl and eat. I'll show you one an example of this with uh, one of my wild cockatiels, one of my reproductors, he is currently at level 1. And we are trying to push it up a little. The step 3 is when the bird eats directly from the end. At first they will uh, sit on a perch and get only with the beak uh, uh, eating from the end, or uh, they will hold uh, into the cage uh, without getting directly on the end. Then they will really step on the end and eat from the end. I know they seem uh, very similar, the step 2 and 3, but cockatiels are extremely fearful animals. I think they are the most fearful parrots of all. And for them, it's a huge difference, because hands are terrifying for them. For an untamed cockatiel, the hands are very scary, because they are scared of the nails, they are scared of the fingers, and it takes a lot of time to, well, not a lot of time, you need to work a little to get rid of that fear, at least. Uh, not, maybe you won't uh, get rid of it completely, because even my uh, unraised cockatiel, sometimes they are not scared and I can grab them and everything. Other times they are on a different mood and if I uh, get close with my hands will go away, but it's, uh, it's normal. Anyway, so uh, I keep them separated for that reason. Maybe with other parrots it's easier, I don't know, but for cockatiels I suggest uh, starting with the ball and then with the end without the ball. Step 4. The bird can sit on your finger, on your hand, on your shoulder and you can take it out of the cage because uh, when the bird sits on your finger without too much trouble it's easy to take it out and then take it uh, back uh, in the cage using food or whatever. But at that point, you can start and join your bird, actually. But still, you can't uh, touch the bird, you can't go directly with your hand to the bird, you can't grab the, the bird, you can't uh, screech. Uh, it's basically the bird getting to you, coming to you, if you invite, just gently, but uh, touching directly is still very diffident and uh, usually will fly away if you try to do so. At level 5, the bird will uh, sit very relaxed on your shoulder or on your hand. We'll ask for uh, screeches like this. 
with practice grooming, play with your hair or with your hair lobes, with your clothes. You still can't grab or touch like uh, under the wings, but still at this point a cockatiel is already very enjoyable as a pet. Last two steps are six and seven. Six is when uh, you can uh, touch the back of the bird, you can uh, very often <coughs> grab the bird. <coughs> like you can do this always from the front never from behind because they are still prey animals so if you get from behind they get spooked even if it's you and that's not about trust that's just their base instinct if something approach from behind they get scared and try to escape you that you have to communicate your intention go from the front show that it's you and you are just going to pet them and they will allow like this and you can grab like this and that's it and finally we have the last step the seven and this is when you can grab the bird and touch the bird as you want even under the wings like this this may seem pointless, and probably it is for a lot of people, but if you want to train the bird with the shaping, like I did in the eagle training video, I don't know, if you, if you, if you didn't see it, I suggest you to go and check it. Or if you want to put on an harness without uh, tragedies, you need level 7. But that's just it. Not every bird will get to level 7, but uh, I think level 5 or 6 is already more than enough to have a cockatiel you can enjoy and spend time with. What you should do at this point is figure out at what step of this ladder you are with your cockatiel. And rank up from there. How do you rank up in that ladder? You need to find out a motivation. And a motivation is usually food you need to understand, to discover, what's the food that your cockatiels love the most. Here, for example, I have some treats that I use for my cockatiels. These are crackers without salt. Or seeds, because my cockatiels are on pellets. So, as cockatiels are very into seeds, I think that turning uh, the cockatiel into pellets and then using seeds as a reward works very well. But you can also use just different uh, rewards if you want, like crackers or pumpkin seeds without salt or walnuts. They all work pretty well. And there are many other, of course, I just found this, uh, this four in my own today. But uh, your cockatiel might be the most uh, pumpkin seed addicted bird in the world, but if you have an untamed cockatiel and just try to offer the seeds, it won't take them, because it's scared of you. You have to create uh, this addiction. You need to put the seeds in a bowl in the cage and the bird freely eat them for a while. And when he understands how amazing these seeds are, you remove them and just show them when you are training, when you are trying to tame the bird. So you have motivation and attention. So let's see how to get from a step to another. With my untamed cockatiels, my reproductors, I can show you something until the point where I should take them out of the cage because of course I can't take my untamed cockatiels out of their cages. They would just escape and I would never find them again. But the first three steps I can show you them for real with my birds.
then going from the fourth to the seventh you'll need to pretend that my boo-boo here is not already an amazing seven level cockatiel because we are doing it with him this one she's a level one you see how close i can get without her being nervous or flying away let's begin by holding the ball with the seeds inside of the cage this white face silver male is also a level one so let's proceed with him and push it up to level three It was pretty easy, it didn't take too long. And he's eating very carefully from the bowl already. I have to stand completely still. My hands has to be motionless because they are very scared of it right now. If I move my fingers, they go away immediately. It feels like fishing. You go out there with the food on your hand as a bait and just wait until they come close and take it. If you have a very stubborn cockatiel that doesn't want to know anything about you and your hands, you can just for the first steps, just a few times in the beginning, remove the feeders like an hour earlier before your training, so that when you go for it, the bird is a little hungry and will be more motivated to win its fear of your hand to come and eat. Of course, we are just talking about a very short period of time. You don't have to starve the birds just an hour before the training and after the training you put back the feeders and let the birds have free access to them. Now he's at the point where he did from the hand. Holding into the chest with the with the feet, of course, but we're doing good. I think that after some time doing this, he will find the courage to step on the hand. And so we did it. Took me a couple of days, but as you see, it's something that can be done. Almost every cockatiel can do it. And from now on, we'll proceed with my already tamed cockatiels. To go from level 3 to level 4, when the bird is eating from your hand and you want to make him able to sit on the hand or on the finger or on the shoulder, you just start, uh, maybe you can uh, hide the food, like this, you will look for the food, 
then you do this and reward and then you approach without food and when he steps up you give again food then as he eats you hide food and you put him on the shoulder and do like this When you're at this point, you can start uh, moving your fingers, uh, closing the hand, and if the bird doesn't pay attention at it, doesn't get nervous, it means you are almost ready to go to the next step. If the bird is nervous, you just stop, wait until it relaxes again, and then you can do it again. To make the bird step up, you just Go near the chest of the bird with the hand. You can touch the chest without pushing too much and the bird will naturally step up. When you can put the cockatiel on your shoulder, you can start doing your things with the bird on the shoulder so it gets used to you, to your movements, to your presence and the trust will increase even more every time. So how do you get to the next level, five level? Well, when the bear starts to spend a lot of time on your shoulder, you'll notice it uh, grooming, playing with your clothes, with your hair, with your lobes. And you can also try offering uh, screeches. You show your intention to the bird, You see, and so to get from five to six, you can just offer screeches like this, and then move to the back. Sometimes you screech, you go to the back, always from the front, then sometimes you grab and you release immediately. If the bird show any sign of distress, you release immediately. And once you can screech and pet and grab, you're almost done. What this? Level seven is something you can do usually if your bird was unraised and you kept uh, playing with him, touching uh, the cockatiel all the time. But it's not impossible that even an untamed cockatiel can do it, it's just very hard. Anyway, it's about keeping doing this. Grabbing gently, try to touch under the wing and then release. Grab the bird. <laughs> you just have to keep touching the cockatiel and get it used to your hands as much as possible until you can put your fingers under the wing like this. Keep his attention. Do that kind of movements, and if the bird shows distress, you freeze. Always reward when the bird allows you to touch under the wing. You reward. So he understands it's nothing dangerous, but it's something that will bring a good 
tasty treat and you just keep doing this and when you can grab grab your cockatiel like this <laughs> it means it trusts you a lot <laughs> One very important thing to keep in mind is that you can do what you want as long as the bird is okay with it. Because if the bird learns that once you have him in your hands, you won't leave him go until uh, you want to do it, he will start to hate your hands. I mean, I can grab my cockatiel like this, because I, uh, the bird knows that if he wants to go, I just release him immediately. So he will allow me to do this. Because when I feel the bird wants to go, I open. If you grab the bird and keep him like this, even if the bird is stressed, he will start to hate your hands and won't allow you to grab him again. At what point of this ladder you think you are with your cockatiel? I'm very curious about this, let me know in the comments. Also, if there's something uh, I've not been completely clear about, ask me in the comments as well, so I will answer if I can. If this video was helpful for you, I invite you to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I say bye to all of you and see you soon in the next videos.